Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little jacket for little girls from three to four years old. It's very easy to make. This little jacket here was inspired by this little jacket here that I showed you a couple weeks ago. Um, this one here is for a baby from zero to three months and it's part of a little baby set that I showed you for newborns. I will leave the links to those tutorials down here in the information box. This one here, like I said, it's for a baby from zero to three months and I've gotten lots of requests from lots of you to make it bigger, so here it is. Now this jacket, you can make it smaller from two to three years old and up to 10 to 12 years old. I will leave some information down here in the information box of how you can make it smaller or bigger. It's just a matter of changing your hook and your yarn, so be sure to check that out. Also, at the end of the tutorial, I give you the measurements of the finished jacket, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so without further say, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this light number three yarn. I'm using Red Heart Fashion Soft. This is a light number three yarn in this color white. We're also going to need a little bit in the color pink. I'll leave a link down here in the information box to where you can purchase this yarn, along with the hooks that I use. Okay, so to begin, I have 76 chains. This chain here measures 46 centimeters, which is about 18 inches. The stitch multiple to our base chain is multiples of three plus one. Okay, so to begin on the second chain from the hook, one, two, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next chain, and so on. All we're going to do for this first row are these single crochets on each one of the chains. At the end of this first row, you're going to have a total of 75 single crochets. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row, and I have a total of 75 single crochets. Now, for the second row, we're going to make three chains and turn. In this row, we're going to make our first row of fans. Our fans are going to consist of two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. So beginning into the third single crochet, one, two, three, I'm going to make my first fan. Double crochet, double crochet, two chains, two double crochets. Skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, make your next fan. So two double crochets, one, two, two chains, two double crochets. Again, skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, make your next fan. This is all we're going to do for this second row, so continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 24 fans. Now to finish, I'm going to skip one, two, and into this last single crochet right here, I'm going to make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this second row with a total of 24 fans. Now, for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, what we're going to do is inside each one of these fans, we're going to make um, a fan. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the exact same thing. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this third row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of the third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row, and I have a total of 24 fans. Now to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here and make a double crochet at the end. And this is how we finish the third row. Now, for the fourth row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, we're going to make um, these fans, but we're going to make them as follow. We're going to make two double crochets, one, two, three chains, two double crochets. So we're going to make three chains instead of two. Okay, now jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Two double crochets, one, 
two, three chains, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this third row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of the third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row, and I have a total of 24 fans. Now to finish, again, just pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this fourth row. Now for the fifth row, chain three and turn. Now inside of each one of these fans, we're going to do fans. Um, these fans are going to consist of three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets. Okay, jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Three double crochets, one, two, three, three chains, three double crochets. One, two, three. Continue like this, just making these fans of three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row and I have a total of 24 fans. Now to finish, just pinch here the second chain at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this fifth row. Now for the sixth row, chain three and turn. In this row, inside each one of these fans, we're going to make eight double crochets. So beginning into this first one, we're going to make eight double crochets. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing, eight double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of the sixth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Now to finish, just pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the sixth row. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. In this row, what we're going to do is between each double crochet of this fan, see between each one, we're going to make a double crochet, beginning here, so make a double crochet, chain one, and then between the next two, double crochet, chain one, between the next two, double crochet, chain one, between the next two, double crochet, chain one, between the next two double crochets, double crochet, chain one, between the next two, double crochet, chain one, and between the last two double crochets, double crochet. This is how we're going to work each one of the fans. And I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Now, to do the same thing on the next fan, you're not going to chain one here between each fan. You're just going to automatically go between the next two double crochets of the next fan and make your double crochet. Now, chain one, and then between the next two double crochets, double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet, chain one. Continue like this for this row. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. Now to finish, just go here to the end where we have the three chains, pinch the second chain, and make a double crochet at the end. Now, I've already cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last loop here, and this part here is done. Now, for the next row, I'm going to use this color here. It's the same brand. Um, this color here is a bright pink. Now go to the top of this last double crochet that I just did right there, grab a loop, bring it to the front and chain one. Now turn and into the same stitch here we're going to make a single crochet right there. Now chain three and into this first chain one space here, make one single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain three, single crochet. Chain three, single crochet. 
chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Okay, and this is how we're going to work each one of the fans. See? Now, between each fan here, we have this space here. Remember that when we were making this row, we didn't chain one here. So into this space, what we're going to do is, we're going to chain one and insert your hook into the space between the fans and make one single crochet. Chain one and into the next chain one space, or this first chain one space of the next fan, make a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And now again, we have this space between each fan, chain one, single crochet into this space between each fan, chain one, and then a single crochet into the first, chain one space of the next fan, and then continue and make the same thing, three chains, and then a single crochet, and so on. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. I have three chains here at the end. Now to finish, um, I'm going to pinch here the second chain and make a single crochet here at the end. I've cut my yarn as well, so I'm just going to pass my yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. That's what it looks like. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over like this, and we're going to count the third fan from the bottom up. So one, two, three. This is the third row of fans. So right here, right to the side, insert your hook right there, grab this loop here in this color white, and chain three. One, two, three. Now, we have the first fan, so the fans that we're going to do are going to go on top or inside this chain three space of this fan, see right there, and then between the fans, right here. So insert your hook right there and make two double crochets, one, two, two chains, two double crochets, one, two. Okay, your next fan is going to be between the fans. So this is the fan and this is the fan. So right in the middle, right here, insert your hook and make your next fan. So two double crochets, one, two chains, two double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for this row. So let me show you again. So you're going to go to the next fan and right on top inside this chain three space, make your fan, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Okay, here's the fan. Now between the fans, right here, right in the middle, one more fan. One, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Continue like this for this first row. I will meet you at the end of the row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row and I have a total of 47 fans. Now, to finish this row, we're going to insert our hook right here at the very end, right there, right there. And we're going to make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this, this first row with a total of 47 fans. Now for rows two and three, you're going to chain three and turn. In this row, all we're going to do is inside each one of these fans, we're going to make these fans of two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. So in this row, the fans are going to have one chain instead of two. Now jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. 
Now jump to the next fan and do the exact same thing. So continue like this until you come here to the end. Here at the end you're going to pinch the second chain and make a double crochet at the end. Chain three and then turn and then do the exact same thing I just did here. So we're going to do this for this row the second and then one more row, so three rows. I'll meet you at the end of the third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row of fans. We have one, two, three. Now to finish this third row, I'm going to pinch this second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this third row and I have a total of 47 fans. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, we're going to work 23 fans and then we're going to work a reduction. So these 23 fans are going to be done in the same way we've done in the previous row. So two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. Okay, so continue like this until you have a total of 23 fans and then I'll meet you here right in the very middle to show you how we're going to make this reduction. Okay, I finished making these 23 fans. Now into this next fan, this is fan number 24, I'm going to make a double crochet inside this chain one space. Okay, and now I'm going to jump to the next fan and work my normal fan of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And that's how we're going to make this reduction. Okay, from here on you're just going to continue and work fans inside each one of these fans. So continue like this. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row of fans and I have a total of 46 fans. Now to finish, we're going to make a double crochet. So pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the fourth row. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now here we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to work fans inside each one of these fans. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Continue like this for this fifth row. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 46 fans as well. Now to finish this row, we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this row. Now for the sixth row, we're going to do the exact same thing. So chain three and turn. Inside each one of these fans, we're going to make these same fans of two double crochets chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Continue like this for this row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row and I have a total of 46 fans. Now to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the sixth row. Now for the seventh row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now in this seventh row, what we're going to do is exactly the same thing we've been doing. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets inside each one of these fans. Okay, here's the first one, jump to the next one and do the exact same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this all the way to the end. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the seventh row. Here at the end, I made a double crochet just like we've been doing at the end of every row. And I have a total of 46 fans as well. Now, in the next row, what we're going to do is we're going to divide our sleeves. So let me show you where I have my stitch markers. This is the end, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six fans, and then I put a stitch marker. Then I have, between this stitch marker and this next one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fans. This is going to be one of the sleeves. And then between this stitch marker and this one here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, fans and then again between this stitch marker and this one I have 11 fans this is going to be the other sleeve and then between this stitch marker and this first one I have one two three four five six fans okay so now to divide our sleeves this is going to be the first row we're going to here we're going to chain three and turn now we're going to work a fan on top of this first one and a fan on each one of these until we have six so here to begin inside this first fan you're going to make two double crochets chain one two double crochets now do the exact same thing on the next one 
until you have six fans. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these six fans. Now here under the sleeve, we're going to chain four. We're going to skip these 11 fans and into the 12th fan, which is this one here after the stitch marker, we're going to make our first fan for this um, back side. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now, one thing here, under the sleeves, I'm only going to add four chains, but if you want to add more chains to make sure that um, this part here fits under the arm um, for the size that you're making, then just add more chains. Um, there's no specific number of chains that I'm adding. Here, what I plan to do is on the next row, I'm going to add two fans here um, in this space. So if you um, add six chains, then you're going to make three fans. Okay, so now here we're just going to continue making these fans until you have a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these twelve fans. Now here we're going to chain four, skip eleven fans, and into this twelfth fan, which is this one here. After the stitch marker, we're going to make a fan. So two double crochets chain one, two double crochets. Now here, just continue making these fans, so I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row, and I have a total of 24 fans for this row. Now to finish, we're going to pinch this second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this row. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Now here, we're going to make these six fans, so beginning here on this first one, make your first fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so continue like this until you have six. I will meet you here to show you what we're going to do under the sleeve. Okay, I finished making these six fans. Now here under the sleeve where we have these four chains, we're going to make two fans. So insert your hook into this space and make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Here's our first fan. Now, make one more. So insert your hook and make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And here's your second fan. Now, jump to the first fan here and make your next fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so continue making these fans until you have your 12 fans for this back side. When you come here under the sleeve, once again, you're going to make two fans here and then continue along and finish this row. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row and I have a total of 28 fans. Now to finish, pinch here the second chain and make a double crochet at the end. And this is how we finish this second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Now here we're going to work these six fans. So make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets inside each one of these fans until you have six. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these six fans. Now here what we're going to do is between this last fan and this next fan, which is uh, the first one out of the two that we have under the sleeve, right in between we're going to work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, now we have the next fan. So we have two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Right in the middle, you're going to make your next fan. Right inside the chain one space. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, and now we have the next fan. We have two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Inside this chain one space, you're going to make your next fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, and now again, we have the first fan for this back side. And right in the middle, between this fan and this fan, you're going to make another fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. 
Okay, and now we have, let's see, one, two, three, four fans. Now continue along making your fans until you come here to this other end. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to work um, this part here under the sleeve once again. Okay, I finished making these 12 fans here for this back side. So now between this last fan and this first fan under the sleeve, I'm going to make my fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now we have the first fan out of these two inside the chain one space, you're going to make a fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then we have the next fan. Inside the next chain one space, make your next fan. So two double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. And now one more fan between this first fan for this side and this fan here under the sleeve. So right in the middle, you're going to make your next fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And here we have our four fans, one, two, three, four. Now continue along this side, just making these fans and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. I have a total of 32 fans now for this row. Now to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this row with a total of 32 fans. Now for the chain three and turn. Now in this row, all we're going to work are these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. We're not going to make any more increases or anything. We're just going to work these fans. So continue like this. I will meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row and I have a total of 32 fans. Now to finish this row, we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this row. Now from here on at the end of every row, you're always going to have 32 fans. Um, we're going to repeat this row that we just finished. So to do that, we're going to chain three and turn. Now here we're going to work fans on top of each one of these fans, just like this. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Um, this is how you're going to continue for this row. And when you come here to the end, right here, you're going to finish with a double crochet at the end, chain three and turn, and then repeat the same row. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on, but I'll let you know here. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fifth row, so um, I did a total of 30 rows, and it measures from this first row up to this um, last row. I have 35 centimeters, which is about, it's about 14 inches. Okay, so now here, what we're going to do is, we're going to do the following. Um, if you want to make this part here longer, you can, just make sure that your last row ends um, the same way that I have here. My last row here was on the right side, so now we're going to go on the wrong side here. So to begin this next row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now here, on top of this first double crochet, make one single crochet, chain, two, inside this first chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three, inside the same chain one space, make a single crochet, chain two, single crochet between these two fans. This is how we're going to work each one of these fans. So chain two, single crochet inside the chain one space, three chains, single crochet again into the same chain one space, chain two, single crochet between the fans. Continue like this for this row and I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have my last two chains here. To finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a single crochet. Now, I've cut my yarn, so I'm going to pass my yarn through this last loop and this part here is done. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so now on the opposite side, on this side right here, we're going to do the following. Um, starting on the wrong side, 
on this side here. I'm going to insert my hook here, but first I'm going to switch from this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook to this four millimeter crochet hook. So insert your hook right there, grab this loop. I'm going to use this pink color, bring it through the front and chain one. Now what we're going to do is into the second row right here on top, we have the two chain space or the chain one space. So in this chain one space right here, we're going to make fans. So insert your hook there and make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Okay, jump to the next fan, the second row here, open on top here and inside this chain one space make your next fan. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. One more time, jump to the next fan. Remember, we're working on the second row. So inside this chain one space of this fan, insert your hook right there and make your next fan. So two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Okay, this is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this, and I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have my last fan here. Now to finish, we're going to go to the top here of this double crochet. Um, actually, this is a single crochet here at the very top. So in there, you're going to make a slip stitch, chain one, and turn. Now on top of the same stitch here, we're going to make a single crochet right there and now we're going to chain two we're going to insert our hook inside this chain three space of this side and then in the back we have the fan so inside the chain two space same thing insert your hook and make a single crochet chain three single crochet back into the same space chain two and a single crochet between the two fans in the back, this one and this one. So back here, a single crochet. Again, chain two, insert your hook into this chain three space and into the chain two space in the back and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch here, chain two, and then a single crochet between the two fans in the back. And this is all we're going to do for this row. So continue like this. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here I chained two and then I did a single crochet right into this single crochet that we have here at the end. Um, and then I just cut my yarn and then passed my yarn through that last loop. So now here, what we're going to do is um, with this color white and the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, insert your hook here on top of this single crochet that we did here in this very corner. Now grab this loop, bring it through the front, and chain one, like this, okay? And now into the same stitch here, where we have the single crochet right there, insert your hook again and make a single crochet. Now a single crochet into this single crochet here, and then into each one of these spaces, we're going to make two single crochets. One, two, into the next, one, two into the next space one and two single crochets continue like this until you come here to the top here we're going to also um, make sure that when we do these single crochets we also grab this fan here so i will meet you this is row one two three four this is the fourth row of fans counting down so i will meet you about here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the top. Up to here, I have 56 single crochets. Now, one thing here, make sure that your single crochets are nice and loose and not too tight to uh, keep this part here nice and straight. Um, so now here, what we're going to do is we can bring this fan down here and what we're going to do is we have a single crochet here at the end right there of this um, row that we did with chains and then between this space and this space right in the center right there of this stitch i'm going to make a single crochet and now if you notice 
the spaces align. So into this space here, I'm going to make two single crochets into the next space, two single crochets, and into the next space, two single crochets. Okay, and now I'm going to continue and do the same thing, two single crochets on each one of these space until I come to the top. Okay, now this is the row of single crochets right there. So insert your hook there and make a single crochet and then at the top make one single crochet. Now this is how we're going to work this part here. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to come back down, so chain one and turn into the first single crochet here, make one single crochet, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, and so on. Again, make sure that these single crochets are nice and loose. Continue like this and I will meet you down here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and turn. Into this first single crochet here, we're going to make a single crochet then a single crochet into the next, and so on. Here we're just going to work single crochets all the way up to this part here. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the top of this third row now into this very corner stitch here. This is the last one. We're going to make two single crochets. Now we're going to work single crochets along the neckline with re reductions. So into this next stitch here along the side where we did the, the second row, make one single crochet and into this next stitch make one single crochet. Now here we have these stitches that we have along the neckline. So beginning here we're going to make one, two, three single crochets and into the next two a stitch reduction. So insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, three loops, close. Now again make three single crochets, one, two, three, and into the next two, a stitch reduction. So insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook, grab a loop, three loops, close. Again, continue with the same sequence of making three single crochets, two, three, and into the next two, a stitch reduction again. So grab a loop, insert the hook into the next, grab a loop, three loops, close. So continue like this all around the neckline. Now one thing, if you don't want to make these reductions and you like um, the way that the neckline looks, you can leave it as it is. Just continue along making one single crochet on each one of these stitches along the neckline. I will meet you here on this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end of the collar. Now here, this is my last stitch reduction. So here I'm going to make these last single crochets and I'm not going to work a stitch reduction here because um, I only have four stitches, one, two, three, and into this last stitch here, make your two single crochets. Okay, and this is what our neckline looks like now. It's a bit reduced, let me show you. There it is, that's what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to go down this way here and work the same rows we did here on this other side. So. Here we did two single crochets into this very corner stitch and now we're going to work our way down. Okay, this here is the single crochet row, so make one single crochet and then two single crochets on each one of these spaces. Okay, now here we're going to make sure that we grab this fan here and into the space here make your two single crochets and then the next space here along with the other one in the back, same thing, two single crochets and now here we have, for me there's a stitch here so I'm going to insert my hook here between this space and this space and make a single crochet and then we have this row of single crochets in this color pink so insert your hook there and then 
insert your hook into the let's see yes into the next right here and then into this space and now here go back into the space in the back the white and make a single crochet by itself there and now just continue along this part making two single crochets until you come here to the end when you come here to the end you're going to chain one and turn and make your first single crochet into the first single crochet and continue along until you come here to the top I will meet you at the end of the second row which is up here to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this second row of single crochets now to make the next row you're going to chain one and turn now here we're going to make a single crochet into this first single crochet right there then a single crochet into the next and so on we're just going to make single crochets um, until you come here to the bottom here you're going to finish by making one last single crochet into this very um, stitch here at the end right there then chain one and turn and make your single crochet in into the first single crochet and then continue along for your fourth row so I'll meet you here at the end which is the top of the neckline to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row of single crochets along this side, um, and I'm here at the top of the neckline. Now, into this last stitch right here, we're going to make two single crochets. And now we're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch here, a single crochet into the next, and so on. In this part here, we're just going to work single crochets along the neckline. So one single crochet on each one of the single crochets from this row here that we did. So continue like this and I will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row around the collar. Now here what we're going to do into this last single crochet is make one single crochet, then chain one and turn. We're going to go back and make one more row of single crochet. So into this first single crochet, make your first single crochet, then single crochet into the next and so on. Continue working single crochets around the neckline. I will meet you here at this end right here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row around the collar now to finish here I'm going to make a single crochet into this very corner stitch Then I'm going to chain one and turn we're going to go back and do one more row So into this first single crochet here make a single crochet single crochet into the next single crochet into the next and so on continue like this and i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this fourth row around the collar now here i'm at this other end um, and then this side here we're going to make our buttonhole so to do that into the, this very corner stitch i'm going to make another single crochet so there's two single crochets right there now i'm going to chain two skip one two and into the third single crochet let's see one two into the third single crochet right here make your single crochet and that's going to be my buttonhole right there and now here you're going to make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen single crochets now you're going to chain two skip one two and into the third single crochet make your next single crochet and now here just continue along this part and make single crochets now I'm only going to make two buttonholes but if you want to add more you can do do them exactly how I've shown you here so continue now making single crochets until you come here to the end at the end you're going to chain one turn and then continue along for one more row and I will meet you here to show you um, what we're going to do um, here where we have our buttonholes Okay, I'm here at the top of this uh, fifth row of single crochets. Now, for each one of these buttonholes, I did two single crochets into that space and then continue along. So now I'm here, I finished making my two single crochets into this buttonhole and into this very corner stitch here, I'm going to make two single crochets. And now I'm just going to continue along the neckline, just making single crochets um, like this all around the neckline. I will meet you here on this end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at this other end of the collar now. I finished making these um, five rows. We have one, two, three, four, five rows around the collar, and now here we have one, two, three, four rows. We need to make one more row here, so we're going to finish this side now. So into this very corner stitch here, we're going to make two single crochets, single crochet into the next stitch on the side here, single crochet into the next stitch, here on the side and then now here just continue making one single crochet on each one of these single crochets continue along like this just making single crochets and then I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this row okay I finished making this last row here along the side um, I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done all I need to do is just hide my ends. so now this part here is done um, and this is what it looks like I've added my buttons um, one more thing I'm going to add one more row around the very edge here this is just a decorative row um, right along this side here so if you want to do this this is how we're going to do it we're going to go to this other side um, this is where we finish so here on this other end we're going to insert our hook through this last stitch that we did here this is I believe a single crochet in this color pink so I'm going to grab the same color here I have a loop here ready so I'm just going to bring it through the front let me make another one right there so bring it through the front like this And now go into this stitch here right on the very side right there insert your hook grab a loop and make a slip stitch now here chain one and into the next stitch which is this one here insert your hook grab a loop and make a slip stitch chain one insert your hook into the next stitch grab a loop slip stitch chain one insert your hook into the next stitch slip stitch chain one this is all we're going to do here so now i've come to the very um, corner here so just insert your hook into the very first stitch along this side here um, which is the first single crochet grab a loop make a slip stitch chain one then into each one of the single crochets insert your hook and make a slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one this is all I'm going to do all around so continue like this around the neckline and I will meet you here on this other end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end all I did here was make a slip stitch into these um, stitches here I think there was a this one here is a single crochet so into that stitch I did a slip stitch and then just pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done so I all I need to do is just hide my ends and this is what it looks like all around I've added my buttons like I said and this part here is done now what we're going to do is we're going to start on one of the sleeves so uh, I'm only going to show you how to do it on this sleeve because everything is going to be the same when you do the other one so um, this is what we're going to do here we're going to move these stitches to the side remember we have two fans here so I'm going to move them to the side like this so one fan here and one fan here and in between right there I'm going to insert my hook grab this loop bring it through the front and chain three one two three now we're going to work our way this way to the left side now here push these stitches here to the side and into this space here make your first fan so two double crochets chain one two double crochets okay there's our first fan now what we're going to do here is we have this fan here this is the very corner fan this is the fan that's inside this fan so here I'm going to yarn over insert your hook into this fan grab a loop take two loops off yarn over now insert your hook into the very first fan here grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close this is how we're going to work this part here this is so that there is no gap between this fan and this fan and now here I'm just going to complete this fan by making one more double crochet chain one two double crochets 
and that's what it looks like. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to go all around this, um, the sleeve making these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So continue like this all around and I will meet you at the end here on this other end to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end. Up to here I have 12 fans. Now here, what we're going to do is exactly what we did at the beginning. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into this fan. This is the very corner fan right there. It's got this fan here. So insert your hook right there, grab a loop, take two loops off. I have two loops on my hook. Now yarn over again and then go into this space here. So move this fan here and into this space here, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off. Three loops on the hook, close. Okay, and now here we're going to make our fan. So one more double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Let me show you what it looks like right there. This is fan number 12 and then we did this stitch here but closed it with the first double crochet for this fan right there. And now here we're just going to finish by joining here to the beginning with a slip stitch right where we have the three chains. And this is how we finish this row now with a total of 13 fans all around. Now in the next row I'm going to reduce these two fans. Um, if you don't want to do that all you have to do is just make fans um, inside each one of these fans. But first you're going to chain three and turn. So here if you're not reducing any fans just make a fan inside this first one and then inside the next one and so on all around but I'm going to reduce it a bit further. I recommend maybe trying it on before you do this um, to make sure that the reductions you're going to do are necessary. So now here, into this first fan, insert your hook, first yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over, insert your hook into this next fan here, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now here we're going to finish this fan. So double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. And this is how we're going to work this fan reduction right there. That's what it looks like. Now continue all around just making fans. So I will meet you here on this side at this other end to show you how we're going to finish this second row. Okay, I'm here at this other side of this second row. Up to here I have 10 fans and I still have these two fans here. Now, into this next fan we're going to work our next fan but we're not going to finish it. We're going to make two double crochets, chain one, double crochet, and then this double crochet, the last one, we're not going to close so I'm going to leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, inside this last fan right here, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. This is how we're going to finish. See, we're going to reduce this fan here. Now we've reduced two fans for this row, this one and this one. So now to finish, go here to the side of the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this second row. Now, again, if you don't need to make these reductions, you don't have to make them. Just work a fan here and then join with a slip stitch just like I did. Um, now, for the third row, we're going to chain three. From here on, this is all we're going to do. We're going to chain three and turn for every row. And we're going to work fans um, on each one of these fans. I forgot to tell you that I have now 11 fans all around. So now here, inside each one of these fans, you're going to make just your normal fan of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this all around. I will meet you once again here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 11 fans once again. Now to finish this row and all the rows that follow, just insert your hook here into this space where we have the three chains and make a slip stitch. Now for the next row, row four and all the rows that follow, just chain three and turn. And in this row, like the third row, all we're going to do are these fans all around. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, um, continue like this. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do. Um, when you're done here, you're just going to do the exact same thing. Uh, join here with the slip stitch, chain three, and turn. So continue like this, and I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I completed 19 rows and it's measuring from the top here of the shoulder down to the bottom here. It's measuring about 30 centimeters, which is about 12 inches. So now what we're going to do is for row 20, um, here I joined with a slip stitch and chain three. We're not going to turn or anything here. We're just going to go to the top of the first fan and make three double crochets. This is all um, I'm going to do for this row, just three double crochets inside each one of the fans, like this. Three double crochets. So continue like this all around and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 20th row. To finish, just go here into this uh, space between the chain three and the double crochet and make a slip stitch. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make four rows of single crochet. So the first row is we're going to chain one and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a single crochet. Now here, we're going to make a single crochet on each one of these double crochets. So beginning here, we're going to make one, two, three. Then jump to the next fan and make three single crochets. This is all I'm going to do for this row. When I'm done with this row and I'm here at the end, I'm going to join here to the beginning where I have the first single crochet with a slip stitch, then chain one and then continue and make a single crochet into that same stitch and then continue with the same um, thing of making single crochets all around. We're going to do this for a total of four rows. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this fourth row. Now I just joined here to the beginning where I had my first single crochet and then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done, so I did a total of four rows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a decorative row just like we did here around the neckline um, and on the sides with this color pink going to the same stitch you did your slip stitch right there. Grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain one. Now go into the next single crochet, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one. Continue like this all around and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here at the end, all I did was make my last um, slip stitch into the same stitch I did my first stitch and then just pass my yarn through this last stitch. And this part here is done and this is what it looks like. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you our finished um, jacket. Okay, I finished making the other sleeve and this is what it looks like. I did it exactly how I showed you here on this other side. So my baby jacket is done now. Okay, so now let me give you the finished uh, measurements from the top of the neckline here to the bottom here of the sleeve. It measures 16 inches, which is about 41 centimeters. This part here um, under the arm up to, to here um, at the end of the sleeve, it measures nine and a half inches, which is about 24 centimeters. And it's got a circumference around the sleeve of eight and a half inches, which is about 22 centimeters. Okay, so now from the top of the neckline down to the bottom right here, this part here, it measures 17 and a half inches, which is about 44 centimeters and around the waist. I measured it from here to here all around. It measures 26 inches, which is about 66 centimeters. Now around the neckline, it measures 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. One thing here about the neckline, when we started making um, the little jacket, it seemed pretty big, but as you can tell, now it's very small and accordingly to the size that we made it. So don't worry if at the beginning your neckline looks a bit big, it's going to get fixed once we do these rows here, okay? So um, my baby jacket is finished. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like from the back, and there it is. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.